Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Warcraft Orcs and Humans, a Warcraft 1 remake. In Warcraft 3, we're going to chapter 8, the Northshire Abbey. So this is a micro map. It's very, very short. So I think what I, I would like to do this time around is we're going to start the mission. We're going to skip the intro cutscene and maybe we can do some planning together. Both to elongate this video and also kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing at the beginning of each of these missions. The map maker has explicitly told me, not me, but people in general, he said hard mode is meant for experienced players who understand the terrain of these maps, and especially when you're looking at completing the bonus objectives. So what I'm going to do is just start this up again. We'll skip the opening cutscene. We'll watch it when we come back to play this for real. But typically what I'm doing is I just go ahead, I turn on the vision sheet. And then I just sort of observe what's going on. And this is literally all I do on every map. On the macro map, sometimes I'll just uh, use god mode and make all my units invulnerable so that I can wait and see what types of attacks the enemy comes at me with. And what I do is I just check out what the main quest is, what the bonus objective is. So I've already done that for this map, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing. And especially for this one where it seems like we're going to need a very specific plan on how we're going to proceed. Because we need to kill all brigands before rescuing Garona. So Garona's way up here in the upper right. Again, I've... I've watched this before, and there is a uh, there's a cutscene that we'll watch at the beginning of this mission as well. We only have four and a half minutes, so we have to kill all of the humans, I assume, all the brigands. So all the red dots basically have to die. It looks like these up here, this, these are probably just part of a cutscene at some point, so we'll worry about that. Uh, well, we don't have to worry about that, rather. So it looks like we would come up here and kill all the humans, <coughs> excuse me, in this first section and then decide which way we want to go to get to Garona. There's also random peons in these rooms, and I don't know why. I have no idea, so I'm, I'm probably going to come up here and try to get them out, assuming the doors aren't invulnerable. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll split my units up, or we could keep them together. It just depends on how quickly we can kill the enemies. And then also deciding which way to go to get up to the second section up here. Looks like this is all connected, and there's two ways to go. We can go right or left. And it doesn't look like there's any brigands on either side, so technically... It doesn't matter which way we go, as long as we pick a direction that seems easier. So over here to the right, there are slimes. There are more peons, though. Unless there's an optional objective we're going to find later, there is not one. But if there was an objective to rescue all the peons <laughs> or something, I don't know. Oh, these are the skeletons. These are the... These skeletons look like they did in Warcraft 1. These are like how the original skeletons look. That's a really cool addition. Uh, but if it looks like we come through the right here. Uh, we have to fight through slimes, which I'd rather avoid. Let's see what's over here on the left. Spiders, skeletons, ogres, and nothing down here to the bottom left. So again, if this bothers you that I do this at the beginning of the missions, I apologize. It's really just for this series in particular. That's It's very, very challenging if that has not been apparent. It's a very, very challenging campaign. It's meant to capture what Warcraft 1 was like, which was very challenging, even in a day and age where we can select more than four units at a time, right? So again, uh, this is just how I've been playing these. The micro missions are specifically different because there's a, there's a timer, so... I think it's good to plan these, especially because we have to kill all these fellows. If I was going in blind, I wouldn't know if there were... were there, are there humans down here or are there humans over here? And we have to spend a lot of time and a lot of reloading just to figure that out. And, I mean, I'm not going to speak for everybody and say everybody doesn't want to see that. I'm sure there are some people, but frankly, um, I view that as sort of a, just a wasted time sink that I'd rather not do when I could just do some planning, some preparation. Anyway, let's go ahead and restart. And, uh... Watch the intro proper this time around. All right, chapter eight, the North Shore Abbey. This is a real weird picture. I assume that's supposed to be Garona. That looks weird as fuck. All right, I don't understand what's happening here. I assume this is from the manual from Warcraft 1. I don't know what the Blizzard art, art guys were thinking when they drew that. Continuing on hard. The destruction of Black Hand's outpost has left him in a weak position. The Shadow Council, sensing your rise in power, Orders the assassination of Black Hand and elevates you to the position of War Chief. A Wolf Rider brings you news that our best spy, the Hathor Corona, has been discovered by the humans of North Shore Abbey and imprisoned there. She has valuable information concerning you and powerful magic that would aid you in the destruction of your counterpart, King Lane. Trusting no one to complete this vital mission in time, you must find her and then completely destroy the Abbey to protect her secrets. Defilers, how dare you desecrate this sacred soil. You are... Nice one, buddy. I was about to puke from that chatter. Yeah, but these old men do have some charm when they spit blood. Where are Griselda and Turok? 
They haven't arrived yet, boss. We're not receiving- we haven't received news for days. What are we supposed to do? The research team on the ground floor reported that the mystic manuscripts have not been found. Perhaps the clerics are hiding them somewhere. Find the abbot and interrogate him. Uh, we killed him just a minute ago, boss. What? Boss, look who we got here. Garona Halferson. This is a surprise, I must admit. Perhaps there's not enough dark in this place for you to hide in? Niela Saran. I should have expected it. When Medivh, your son, killed you, your body fell, but your spirit safely ejected as a contingency of your magic fortitude. How does it feel like betraying your own kingdom? You won't get away with this when Doomhammer's minions will come here and save me. When Medivh's powers killed me back in the day, I saw a whole new horizon ahead of me. The Abbey's secrets will allow me to get closer to that horizon, other than leaving this stupid form at last. You're here for the scrolls as well, aren't you? Mercenaries, defend this slum while I interrogate the prisoner. Looks like Arona's sort of based on Maev's character model. That's really cool. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and hotkey everybody except the Necrolites separately, and we have to go. Saves by Garona. Save Garona and escort her outside. Let's go ahead and grab the Necrolites. We'll bring them up, too. Okay, we do have very strong units. Let's go ahead and free one of those peons, too. Necrolites' dark vision spell is not available. And remember, we are going left. We have to remember to go left. Let's go ahead and open the door. Kill all brigands before rescuing Garona. All right. Corona Halferson, half orc of unknown origins, is the best spy at the service of the Horde. Her task of infiltration into North Shrabi seemed to end with her death when the brigands began to torture her. But by saving her, you'll make sure the Horde may learn the legendary and secret arcane knowledge contained in the Abbey, which Corona herself learned and destroyed before being captured. Okay, and then my precious. It'll be easy to take them out on the first floor, but on the ground floor, you'll need to have a small search and destroy round, which could be lethal to Corona if you waste too much time. This objective requires both brigands and archers to be eliminated. Okay, well, we do know where they all are, so I'm not that concerned. Let's head on in here. There's a peon. And, oh, there's a switch, too. That we can't attack. Okay, use peons to explore the surroundings or in some other way. So what I'm going to do is take the skeletons and go over to the right. Just sort of as a scouting force. And then we can use the peons basically to die to check to see what's around this map. So what I can do is let's take this peon and come on up here. Okay, we're losing some some grunts. I'm not that concerned, especially if we just start uh, summoning more and more skeletons. And as long as we don't attack more things than we need to, we want to use, again, the skeletons to, to scout for us. Okay, that's good. And let's go ahead and open some more of these doors, try to find more peons. Looks like they're mostly just dying. Okay, nothing in here. Let's check the next one. And just keep finding more and more of these mercenaries. I think we're on decent track. It depends on how long it's going to take us to get to the second section. There's another peon. These guys are trapped. Okay, let's head on up in this direction. Keep it going. It said we might need to split our forces, but I think we're making good time. Okay, let's keep going this direction. We have to go up and around the whole way. Down and around. I'd like it if we had the skeletons up front, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's just have the Necrolites come on over here and start breaking the door. Grunts and Raiders getting kind of low. Not that concerned. Well, maybe I should be concerned, actually. All units healed by 20 hit points, and the timer has stopped for 60 seconds. That must be because we killed all of them on this area? Hang on a second. Okay, so we haven't completed this. There's still more brigands in the next area, but it seems like by, by killing all the, the humans that are in this first section that pause the timer. Master. That's quite nice. And our units Master. were healed. It's too bad It's too bad we lost one grunt. Mm. This guy, this raider, shouldn't be in the front. Let's bring the, the necrolites up behind and... Oh, spiders! Okay, I guess let's get the, the necrolites in there as well. There's a lot of summonable units Master. here. Wow. I'm glad we got that heal because attacking our way through this would have been challenging. And again, not knowing the correct way to go would make this a lot the harder as well. Okay, let's keep it going. I had some skeletons here, too. We might as well bring them up. We don't have to go to the right. We just want to come up. And again, it's really just understanding which direction we need to go. Skeletons! I can't believe I haven't done that in this series yet, up until now. What have I been thinking? All right, you get in the back. I don't mind attacking with the Necrolites. We could keep them kind of in the back. We still want to be raising skeletons, which we're going to be able to do from these, uh... 
from these fellas. Alright, the timer has resumed. You guys attack here. Get the skeleton kind of in the front. We've lost all our grunts. So we have to fight our way through whatever's left here. Okay, and our really weak raider is definitely in danger. Some scorpions. I guess let's check over here and let's grab the skeletons and have them ready to attack in front. Okay, that's more ogres. We don't need to be going that way. Again, let's lead with the skeletons so that they absorb some shots so our raiders don't die. Okay, and then we have to kill whatever's remaining. And it seems like we have plenty of time to spare, but we do need to just kill these, these remaining groups. This wolf rider, this raider is going to die, I think. Let's get on over here. Okay, we have more skeletons being raised. Necrolite's doing well. Good work, Necrolites. I think they've actually been quite, uh, quite crucial. Let's attack over to the right. The skeletons, again, have been really, really, really useful. And there we go. Optional objective completed. Let's see what we're going to get for this before we proceed. This better be good. We don't have any melee units left except the skeletons, and we have to go up and to the right to save Garona. Let's get these skeletons up here. I'm, I'm still waiting for... What does the shadow Still waiting for what this is going to give us. Let's quick save now just in case something happens. Or do we just not get anything? Perhaps we just don't get anything or that's a bug. Actually, I vaguely recall when I was reading the forum thread that you don't get anything for this one, but it does contribute towards total completion. Total completion meaning you unlock the bonuses at the end of the campaign by getting them all. There's Garona. Oh, and we have to kill Nihilus. Oh, Garona, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that, Garona. We don't want... Yeah. Stay back. We destroyed the elemental. And that may be it, unless we have to pull out. <laughs> the boss is gone. Let's get out of here. Spread out. This doesn't look good. Okay, everything else is dead. Garona must survive. Use Shadow Melt to hide Garona from enemy units and flare to explore the surroundings. All right, poor peons. Ah, so it's like an escape section. Was this in the original game? Because this is cool. Launches a flare above a target point, which reveals the area permanently. Don't be Okay, and then we have to use hide. She's very, very low health. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough, because she has like no health at all. So if she takes one hit from a crossbowman, she's fucked. Hide. I won't Let's wait for this fellow to patrol back. And we're going to be quick saving a lot. Just a lot, lot, lot. I hope it's not too disrupting to see that, but it's, it's the only way. Also, those crossbowmen have a really, really high range, so we have to be quite careful of them. Ooh, that's good. This guy's asleep. That's great. I mean, it's technically nighttime, so maybe that's why. We made it by. Hide. What's attacking? I heard I heard somebody attacking. Can I get by this guy? I won't buy it. Maybe we have to go another another way. Let's use flare. You're that reveals her actually. Hmm, what do I do here? I can't even take one hit. I may have to go to the right. I won't buy it. Now he's awake. How are we supposed to get by him in the first place? Or do they cycle when they're awake and when they're asleep? Okay, let's try going to the to the right instead, and we can use flare to see if maybe we have to take another another way, another path. You're in control. Okay, this looks good. Don't be shy. So we went to the left, which arguably was the easiest path to take. And okay, and this guy's patrolling. The other guy. Will, oh, never mind. We're dead. So how do we get by these fellows? If they're oh that guy was asleep. It looks like they. They cycle between being awake and being asleep. I won't buy Interesting. And <laughs> I didn't save prior to this. I think we're going to have to go to the, the right, ultimately. Anything for you. Let's swing down in this direction. Stay ahead I of him. This guy's this. asleep, so let's go to the right, who Ooh, we know at least good. the fellow over there on the right Nothing does control. sleep. Ooh, that's Hide? Good. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, come on, she was melded. Okay, let's try it again. <clears throat> it seems like they wake up when the guy who's patrolling moves close to them. He kind of like shakes them awake, and then when they leave, they go back to sleep. So we may have to time it in a special way. I'm not sure. All right, he's asleep. Let's see if we can just get over to the right. 
See, this is what preparation at the beginning of the mission does not... You, you're just not ready for it. All right. Oh, come on! Yeah, see, she's, he's waking up when that guy comes upon him. We might just want to shadow meld right next to him. Wait for wait for the guard to pass. I'm notoriously poor at stealth sections. How you doing? Don't be. And the shy. fact that she has four health is is pretty rough. How you? And I think doing? she had four health, just don't usually at the beginning this. anyway. Because I pulled her away from Niela Saran right Ooh, away. That's good. I okay, let's just hide here. This. Okay, I'm melted. There we go. He's awake. He should go back to sleep here. Bite. There we go. Ooh. That's good. See, there's nobody patrolling on the left, and that's why I think nobody's sleeping. Or, yeah, because I they're just awake all the time, this. whereas this guy's asleep, except when the patroller gets close to him. How you doing? So let's get as close as we can. Hide here. Quick save. He wakes up. Turn there's the patroller. This. Turning around. This guy should go back to sleep. Yeah. There we go. And then we move up. I don't usually do this. Hide now. Let's get a better idea of what's going on. Actually, I'm not going to use flare. I'd rather just wait because we're not in a good spot right now, and I don't know how far this guy patrols back and forth. Okay, he's awake. It was. In it took me, a, you know, a minute or two to realize how that works, but now I get it. Let's go ahead and reveal. Ooh, that's good. Let's get a little further away and hide. There we go. And I think we can wait. Until this guy gets close and wakes up the other guy. We're pretty far away from them, but... I don't usually do this. Okay, this is good. This was risky, but it... Ooh, that's good. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, run. Run. I don't usually do this. Hide? Oh, this is close. Okay, we're good. We may have to attack our way through this door. Let's go ahead and flare. Let's see. And does this connect? It does. Die smiling. So slowly but surely, we'll destroy the gate gonna take a long time actually don't tell me we weren't supposed don't to go this way shy. okay I'm out of range of them probably just barely okay I heard the gate I heard a gate break seemed like when we looked at it it broke that gate breaks pretty much when you look at them they break okay that's bad Maybe maybe this isn't the proper path. It's probably further down, maybe. Ooh, that's good. Very dangerous. Um. Hmm. It's like I want to risk flaring, but I don't know where the patrol is that's gonna wake him up. You're in control. Right there. Okay. I don't know why I did that. I waited forever, thinking, oh, okay. Well, maybe there's just not one. Of course, there's going to be one. Turn me. Okay, that's okay. Now we know, though, which direction I to not go. Do this. Flare is F. That's good. And hide is I. You're Let's just get by these guys. Flare right here. How you doing? Oh, that was real close. I won't bite. He's asleep. Let's go. Ooh, that's good. You're in control. Yeah. Okay. This is it. This Ooh, is this is this good. is it. Okay. There's the patroller. We might be far enough away, but it's hard to tell, so let's just save. And I'll risk running, even because I just saved. Let's go now. Oh, this is bad. He's chasing me. Do you think I can risk hiding? Ah! Ah, okay, I can only go a little bit. I'm gonna have to wait for him to cycle one more time, I think. Okay, let's, let's try once more, because again, it's just not quite, not quite close enough to in here where I ultimately need to go. Okay, he cycled back for the most in part, so let's go. You're in control. Okay, this should be more than enough time. Come on. Whew. This guy gets woken up twice. I won't bite. Anything. Let's at least get through this hallway. I don't usually do this. Anything for you. Ooh, okay, I'm just sort of playing this by ear right now. It is I working out. We're right by the entrance. But how do we get through here? These guys aren't asleep. Do we just have to chance it? Or was I supposed to save the peons for for another time? Is that... Escort her outside? I mean, they're melee, so maybe I just have to run. Oh, this sucks. Hmm. Again, maybe I needed to go find peons. But if there were peons in here, they're probably dead at this point. Maybe we have to... Uh, you know what? 
Remember we saw those peons down in that other area? Maybe that's it. Did I just save here? Don't tell me I did. I think I... I don't even remember. Okay, we didn't. I think we want to keep... We want to go down here. Get the peons, because we're going to need them. Hmm. Do you work out? Because we're going to need them to distract the guards. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, well, that, that was funny because I, I said, like, oh, it's only four and a half minutes. There's not going to be a How stealth section doing? after this. And there is, so this is actually taking longer than I expected. So oh, that whole fun. beginning section wasn't really necessary to take don't you through, like, oh, here's shy. how I plan stuff. I don't okay, let's come on do down this. here. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, never mind. That's not where we need to go. I think maybe we'll just need to make a run for it. Turn me loose. Which I don't really feel confident about, but I think we're just going to have to make a run for it. How else? How else? Because we have no means of distracting. We can't take any damage. If we take one I hit from anything, we're dead. Hmm. Unless there's something else. <laughs> excuse me. Something else on this map that I'm just don't missing. Be shy. I don't know. Ooh. That's good. Let's get down here to the right. We can't get down there. Those guys... Uh, I got too close to that guy. There's nothing down there to the right. I, there were peons, but we can't get to them. And there's nowhere we could have hid peons in the first How section of the map doing? without losing them, I don't think. I let's lie. let's wait for this. Let's do the, the cycle again, because I don't want to have to wait for this again. All right, is he far enough over to the nothing left? Now he should be. Anything for you. Hide now. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm taking too many chances. I'm I'm just too impatient. Don't be One more shy. time, I promise. I want to get back down to this section and then we'll have to figure out how to get through because no idea. Turn me loose. It says escort her outside. Is there maybe another path we can take to get outside? Okay, I'm hidden now. Let's wait for him to get all the way over to the right. Let's Ooh, go now. That's good. This guy patrolling is Anything. is down here. Should be far enough You're away. In Ooh, that's good. Okay, good. You're in control. There has to be I maybe another path out. Because I have no idea. There's Hmm. Not here. Maybe down and to the left is another path out? Clearly not this way. Kinda wanna use the vision sheet to check. Let's quick save now because we're in a good spot. Don't be shy. Ooh, that's good. Uh I don't usually do that. I was gonna say, they just stood there for a second. Uh I think I'll just go in and use the vision sheet again just to see if there's another way out. Cause I don't know any other way. See, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like there's any other path. This down here is where I thought there were more peons. This over here is just a dead end. This up here we can't get to. The only way out is... Not down here either. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure. Footman, knights. I won't What's our fight. move speed? Move speed is average. Knight move speed is fast. No idea how to get by them. Let's just... Let's try to be a little more observant here and see if, if I'm missing something completely. Don't be shy. Okay, I was I was about to give up and message the map maker because I was confused, but then I remembered that there was this lever, and because we have the vision sheet, I was just looking around trying to figure things out, and I realized it's selectable now. So I don't know what this is going to do, but by looking around more, there's another lever down here, and then I saw the ogres. So what I'm thinking is hitting this lever is probably going to open this door, which will allow us to hit this lever, which will let the ogres out, which we can maybe kite into the humans. So that's what I'm thinking we're going to have to do. Um, I could have used flare again. I have the vision cheat on, so you can consider that as, as much do. cheating as you want. I don't usually so what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to die, hit the lever. It does open that door, Ooh, and I'd like to get good. over there. This guy never goes to sleep, though, so we are going to have to pretty much make this... Oh, crap. We're going to have to do this as fast as possible. Okay, as long as this guy's far enough away. Ooh, let's go now. Good. He's asleep. Guy on the top is patrolling back, so we can probably round this Ooh, corner and then hide good. at the top. We yes, have to go back around the way we came. There's no other option. Let's hide right now. Okay, that's still open. Don't be shy. 
Gotta wait for this guy to patrol back at least once. Get a little closer to the middle and then... And then uh, get going. Okay. That's good. Let's hide. Don't be Wait for him to get past us and then we can go. The guy down there... The guy that does the, the big uh, clockwise rotation is pretty far away from us. So we should be pretty safe to get down here. Ooh, that's good. This guy... I want a chance. I think I can chance it, so let's just run right by him. Again, the big, the patroller that goes around the entire area is still gone. I'm going to quick save because I don't know how tough this is going to be. Let's hit the lever, and let's just see if we can kite these. What happens if I just hide now? They run right by me. Oh, perfect. The patroller, again, that does the clockwise is, is close by, but not quite. Let's just get out of here. Oh, no. Run, 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 run before they kill the knight. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little ending there, but not very obvious. You do have to to troubleshoot your way through that. That's for sure. Our men need help. Let's go. What a cool little what a cool little way to to end that mission. I I really am doubting that that stealth section was in the original game because I don't think there was a stealth mechanic at all. Of course, uh, definitely not. And I'm a I'm ninety nine point nine 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 repeating sure that that was not in the original game. So I wonder if maybe that's a mechanic that's only on hard mode or something like that. That was really cool. Again, the lever was not obvious. You definitely had to look around for it. And I did use the vision cheat, but then again, I used the vision cheat at the beginning of the mission too. I noticed the lever in the first part of the mission. I knew it was there and I tried clicking on it, which sort of just immediately invalidated it in my in my mind. So I wasn't thinking about it. I was standing by those footmen and by those knights thinking like, what the hell do I do? But then I noticed there were two levers. One was behind an iron gate. So I figured one had to open the other. The lever was selectable. So a really, really cool way to end that map again. And it, it challenges the player to actually think, as opposed to just like, okay, well, let's just make some raiders and chase down catapults. It definitely uh, made things, it made things more varied in this campaign, which was nice. A nice little addition that wasn't really a callback to the original game, but very, very neat nonetheless. All right, well, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.